Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. And one item I picked up online, uh, we had gift cards given to us, which I have to use by the end of this month. So I was able to purchase something from Amazon and it's something I've been wanting to, to get for a long, long time. And I'll probably have to order some more accessories to go with it. But first, let's do the Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I actually found something on my wish list that maybe I missed it the first time when I went through, but I was so glad I found it this time. And I'll give you a hint what, what to look for or where to look for this item because it might be on your wish list too. So first of all, just a few things. I've had these items for a while. I thought I'd try these. They, these were okay. They're the Fruit Slices Marshmallows. And you get watermelon, and I think that's lemon. Is there another flavor? Maybe peach? I think that's peach here, but they were okay. Um, would I get them again? No, not really, but they were okay, they were okay. These I will get again. I finally found another flavor. The other one I had was a strawberry, and if you look at these uh, 4D gummies, you pull them out and they are just they could be like fake food, right? For like a dollhouse, but I mean, eventually they will get moldy and yucky, but they are really cute. The pineapples are actually adorable. I love pineapples. Um, my daughter loves strawberries. So that's kind of a, a, a nice little gift, back to school gift. You create like a little back to school basket, you know, for your child, leave it on their, on their desk or in their bedroom when they come home from school. So really cute, really cute little snack. Okay, I'll save the best for last. I saw two books. They were in my store when you come in, there's like a table and they're talk about like featured item. And this book was really interesting. The other one was like ocean pictures, which was really beautiful. This is the forest one. And so it says dream walls. So what they are is they're prints. So you could tear these out, create your own like, you know, collage, picture collage on your walls. But I'm gonna be using this for my scrapbook or junk journal. And fall is my favorite color, favorite color, favorite season, favorite colors <laughs> in fall as well. So really, be oh, look at that, beautiful. So this is one of my favorites. I actually have a photo similar to this on a little walk we went to in Eagle Creek. So owl, mushrooms. <laughs> so isn't that beautiful? You could use that on a junk journal page and then just try and feature the window. You could even put pictures in the windows here. There's a lot of things you can do different or just use them, like I said, on your walls. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful photos. So this is a really nice book for $1.25. Let me get it. Okay. Um, repeat purchase. We can't go wrong. Now, I want to say because now these are $1.25 for four. I'm going to see. Walmart has a multi-pack, and I'm trying to remember how many because there's four rolls here. I think in the multi-pack you get like 12. So I'm gonna, next time I go into Walmart, I'm gonna go over to the pet section and see if it's a better buy to buy it from there, like a bigger package. They have really cute designs though. Um, the other one I have, I'm finishing up the last roll right now. It had little pineapples on it. It was like blue and purple. Yeah, so that's, yeah, if, if for convenience sake, you know, you get 60 pieces per roll. This I thought was interesting, and this is a big bottle. And yes, it was $1.25. This is the Pro Silk Body Lotion. Now, I've seen Pro Silk, like the shampoo and so forth, but I use Tresemme, and I have. I probably will continue to use it. Um, but this is uh, Daily Moisturizing Lotion Cocoa Butter. And I love the smell of cocoa butter. and. Um, I like it because if I am wearing perfume, yeah, that's a nice, clean, clean smell. A little bit of coconut in the back. Uh, not coconut, but cocoa bean. Like, um, But this is really great. 20 ounces for this big bottle. And if 
I might, when next time I go, I'll grab another bottle because this is good to keep in your stash. Because lotion can be really pricey. I usually get Suave, you know, like the really, you know, no-name brand. Like, I don't need, you know, just as long as it does the job. I don't need a name brand item. Let's see, where's the other one? Um, yeah, I'll show you these. This was, this is the item that was on my wish list. And then I'll show you uh, another item that I was on the fence about getting, but I want to get it to, to share it with you and I might gift it to somebody. But this is on, was on my wish list is the Brazilian mist. And it has, um, let's see, pistachio and salted caramel notes. And someone said online that this is equivalent to another name brand, and it's Sole de Janeiro, I think. But um, this is great. You get uh, 3.5 ounces, and I love this smell. It's very, um, I don't want to say like a beachy smell, but it's... Yeah, it's really good. It smells like like the beach or like, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's not like suntan lotion. It just smells like you just came from the beach and you had suntan lotion, but uh, I just love it. I love it and I, where the hint is, is if you go into like where the shampoo, body lotion is, uh, facial creams, uh, look at the very top shelf because I think I missed it the previous week because all I saw was um, this power stick shave gel, which comes in like vanilla and some really nice scents. I don't use the shave gel. Um, I just use my, my body wash. But um, yeah, so look at the very top shelf. They're hiding them from us, I tell you. <laughs> so anyway, um, the next item is, I saw this in the checkout and they had in two different colors. I think the other one was like a gray or a blue, but it's this selfie light. So I have my ex my old phone here. I want to see if this works. Now, maybe it won't work because I don't have batteries. If it, you have to have batteries with it. But let's take a look here. Put my glasses on. So yeah, this is the phone selfie light, no filter. Take high quality photos with great lighting everywhere you go for smartphones. Okay, and then it says, um, always, always purchase the correct size and grade of battery, most suitable for this device. So battery placement, it takes two AAA batteries not included, so I can't share it with you. But it comes with the instructions here. Let's just see how it works, though. Okay. Yeah, so it just has this little clip here. So I wouldn't, yeah, it doesn't hold it in there like, like, um, Oh, something fell off of there, but, um, I would, um, I would definitely, you know, it's not a secure type thing, but if you just wanted to, to use it. So even here, look at that. Now, maybe mind you, because I have a cover on it, it's not, it's not holding. So, but I thought this was really cute. It's just really cute. Um, I thought maybe it would stand up somehow. It does stand up this way on the table. But yeah, that's, that's it's really cute. It shows you here on the back. I'll show you how she's got it actually. So you actually do it like this. So I had it wrong. There you go. So that's the way you're supposed to, to use it. Like it lights up um, while you're taking a photo, you know, or doing a selfie, so. Yeah, so that's really cute. Um, I'll try it out and, and see see what happens. Maybe I'll post that on the community page. By the way, if you haven't looked at my community page, sorry, I'm just watching the time. Um, 
check out the community page because I gave you a photo of the, um, the light that I got, the heart-shaped light. I was really surprised by, by the color of it. It was just, it was, it was really cute. It was adorable. Um, so I have that in our bathroom right now. This next item from Amazon, I heard some really good reviews on it. Um, if you follow Crafty Girl, she actually, this is one of the printers she uses. She has a couple. Um, this one, I just got the printer. So what this does is you can use it with um, iPhones. You can use it with regular phones, but it's a instant mobile photo printer. And it was marked down. I think it was $20 off. So I think it was probably about, it was 60 with tax. Yeah, so if you like your product, you'll love our other Kodak products. So you can order Amazon Carries the printer paper. Okay, great. So what this does is, it gives you the instructions. Okay, so here's your paper to go in. Here's your USB charger. And then they give you, um, I'm not gonna open it right now, but these are just little, oh, I, it is open, okay. So this is like, um, you can create little borders for it. Let's see if it shows you, I can show you an example of it. I wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, this instructions, but this is by Kodak. So I'm, I'm eventually going to create my own um, Amazon uh, page to where you can go and it'll give you a quick link. But yeah, isn't this neat? And I love it because it's so portable. Now I wouldn't use this for all of my photos, like for my scrapbooking, because sometimes I want a bigger uh, photo. Um, but these are nice. This is gonna be a nice size. Um, I will show, tell you just one moment. So this um, has comes with a 10 pack, so 10 photos to start, um, two by three, okay? So they're not big, but they're really cute. It's just a really cute option to use uh, for uh, your scrapbooking, journaling. Like, you, like for me, it's basically a, a trip journal. I did, um, for my kids, I did scrapbooks for them, their own scrapbook you know, baby book, if you want to call it that. And here's these little backgrounds that they give you. Oh, I love the hearts. Oh, that's cute too. Let's see, what is the other one? Oh yeah, this is really cute. That's a little heart there. Yeah, just really uh, cute little uh, background. So I'll have to read into that how, exactly how to do that. Make sure it's charged and, you know, put the photo paper in there. And then basically you just send your photos from your phone over to the printer. So I'm, I'm really happy to get started on that and use that in my journaling. Um, in fact, I have, if you, I've known, watch my hauls, I've hauled a lot of scrapbooks from Goodwill because they're they're pricey. So if I can save some money and um, just get them at Goodwill for like three three or four dollars, that's what I'm gonna do. So some of those uh, journals or uh, scrapbooks are really tiny, like the one I'm working in right now with our trip, um, different trips and so forth. I uh, It's really a small book, so I have to cut down the pictures, cut down certain uh, sections of my photo and so this would be nice i wouldn't be an intense photo if that's the right wording um i can't zoom in on it i could possibly hmm, and do a screenshot of my photo and then send it to the printer so i'm only capturing the the main image that i want uh, for my scrapbooking so that's it for my Dollar Tree haul and my little Amazon my that was on my been on my wish list and thankfully I had a gift card and I could use that because I 
didn't really have the money to spend on that right now. Um, but I was able to because of the gift card. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will come back. And if you do, uh, it's a good idea to hit that bell button and of course subscribe so that you can, uh, you don't miss any other uh, videos. Thanks again. Have a good day. Bye.